I don't. In this video, we're going to talk about aspects of Form 3. Just like what we talked about in the last video, right? Uh, so this, the idea behind this is, again, learn something new, again, kind of understand if it can kind of be retconned. So I kind of hinted at this a little bit before, uh, and so what we're going to talk about today is the active block. So now, again, I mentioned in the past that, um, again, you can interpret Form 2, even Form 1, with active blocks. Again, you're doing something as opposed to merely having something out there to protect yourself, right? But Form 3 is really where you're introduced to this really early on. Uh, so for example, the very first move. Um, so again, a couple interpretations. Uh, the most uh, common one right now is someone's giving you a center cut, you're coming in and you're striking it. So it's not a passive, I'm like, yeah, I'm not dead. Cool. Uh, the idea is like someone's coming in, I need to actually be actively engaging with it to strike it out of the way, right? Or again, one interpretation is you're here, you make contact, but now they're pressuring, and you're going to strike the other side as you, again, attack them. But the idea is this is introducing the active block. So again, the first two moves are active. I'm striking potentially a sword out of the way. Later, someone's in the defense, strike that sword out of the way. Later, someone's giving me a center cut. I'm going to use my, the false edge of my sword to block, cut, counter. Later, someone's coming in. I'm blocking, I'm cutting, blocking, cutting, defense, right? So you're a lot more active in your blocking. Now you might ask, like, all right, is active blocking that much more useful? Uh, as opposed to just be like, here you go, right? Uh, now you might imagine, Yes, <laughs> right? Otherwise, it would not be a slightly higher level um, technique. If I'm just passive, it's very easy to work around it, right? So if I give you an X block, just strike my elbow. Very easy, right? If I give you, again, like a parry this way, oh, just come around, strike me this way. Versus if I'm actively moving as I block, right? It's a lot more difficult to kind of hone in on one particular thing from the strike versus if I'm just passive, it's very easy to kind of like strike around it. Now that said, if you're passive for just a moment, not so bad, uh, but if I'm active with the opponent as I strike their sword out of the way, they have to kind of fix themselves as opposed to if I'm attacking someone passively here, like, oh, I kind of expected that, so now I can counter, versus if I'm attacking someone and I'm hit offline, I need to be on the defensive now. Make sense? So if you have a passive defense, you're going to more stay on the defense. Versus if I'm actively defending or actively blocking, it can, it can switch the attack and defense positions. Another aspect that this introduces is um, timing, right? So for example, form one and form two are pretty much just go, 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 right? So I drew, <laughs> attack, attack, attack. I drew, Attack, attack, attack. Form three. So obviously the introduction, I don't want to die, so I'm going to strike, and then bang. And now I have to kind of like engage with the partner, right? So it's now no longer like, oh, I'm going to attack you, 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 attack, attack. It's going to be like, all right, so I am engaging with this one particular person. He's not dead yet. So now we have to engage. I kind of like gauge each other's uh, distance, right? So as I'm sliding back, is he also advancing? Was he letting me do that? Is he trying to get better distance? As I engage with the other person, and actually kind of kind of see them not as a you know, like a, a a straw man, right? We're just going to be cutting. You actually think about someone who if you're attacking and interacting with someone who can actually you know think about your movements, right? This is introducing the idea of almost like fighting an AI as opposed to again just yourself. So if it's here, right? So as we're kind of playing with distance and trying to see if it's working, I'm going to try attack. Nope, it didn't work, <laughs> right? Um, or it did work, right, depending on your interpretation. Uh, so again, this is working with, again, you know, someone who can actually engage with you as opposed to, again, strongman. And the third one I'd like to talk about is the idea of distance, right? So when we're in Form 1 and Form 2, it was kind of implicit right, that, that the person's in my like, cutting distance and I'm cutting them. Um, again, even with, again, form two, where I'm just kind of doing a lot of clears. But the idea with, again, this one is, okay, I just 
cleared back, I got back my distance. Now I need to get back in my cutting distance without really compromising myself by putting myself in their cutting distance. Make sense? So this is talking about, again, kind of, again, interacting with an actual entity as opposed to, again, straw men. Uh, so this is gonna be true, again, for your active block, because passive blocks doesn't really matter how close or far away, active blocks, it really does. Especially if you're using the false edge. If they're coming in, if you're too far away, you're just gonna swing and miss. If they're too close, it's too late, right? If I'm like, ha I'm gonna block, I'm already dead. Versus, this has to take that good timing, parry it, counter it, cut, right? So, all of these different things are gonna incorporate it into, again, the two that we discussed, uh, but also think about the weird part of this form, right? So the, the, the elusive three steps to the left uh, in this form, which doesn't really make much sense if you don't, again, think about in that way. Uh, so just so you know, uh, I was able to confirm this with um, a very high-ranking person. Um, the idea is I'm actually engaging around something. So in the form, it is very linear, right? But in application, I'm actually moving around. I kind of discussed this a little bit in terms of, again, maintaining distance when you're trying to strike someone. Uh, but the idea is, I don't know if I necessarily see anything, let's just assume there's something right there, right? If I'm too close, as, which is what you're expecting uh, in the form, if I move straight back, that might trigger them to attack, right? So I've mentioned in a previous video, uh, when you see something going straight for you, you automatically engage. If you see something directly moving away, you automatically try to engage. Versus if I'm moving sideways while I'm also getting back my distance, it's less obvious I'm, <laughs> I'm moving away, right? Uh, so that's what's going on here, right? So we just did bang, 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 defense. So it again, in form, it's linear, but in reality, I'm just kind of moving around someone. Now we're in good cutting distance. Maybe I engage with them. Maybe I'm baiting them by moving back, by uh, knowing that if I do move back, they'll attack. But now I'm in my cutting distance. If I'm here, I do a quick double step back. They're going to be like, oh, I want to go, go in, and maybe now they're out of range, and I can cut them. Make sense? Uh, so again, with the other concepts, can we retcon these ideas? Of course, right? So again, we talk about, again, active blocks. Yeah, we talked about how you can use a broadside for form one, talked about the hooking block uh, you can use for form two. Yeah, distance. Yeah, right, <laughs> because uh, if you're doing your form one uh, or even form two against someone, you need to kind of know how close and how far away they are, and if they're too far away, again, what you should probably be doing. And likewise with the pacing, right? So this is something that is uh, encouraged by the Federation, right? So whenever you're in a defense, take that time to, again, contemplate a little bit more, kind of get the bearings of your surroundings. Now form one, you actually don't get one, right? I mean, you get one, but it's a clear defense, and then you just pretty much go with the rest of the form. Now form two, you actually do get a few times where you can pause, right? So again, uh, you just drew back defense, take a breather, and then you're gonna go in with your jump, right? Uh, so there are times that you can actually stop and pause, but again, think about the, um, the timing of your cuts, just like how we do in Form 3. Um, so I guess with that, um, so keep those ideas in mind, and also, like, allegedly you learn these in Form 3, you know, interpolate them, right? So keep them going in your other forms, like your current form, for example. Um, but I guess with that, so keep training, stay humble, and stay safe. Hi, Dong!